All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys 10 useful Rust commands for beginners. All these can, all these commands can be found in the description. Also, all you have to do to enter them into your F1 console is just hit F1, paste the, con the command from the description into your console and hit enter. All right guys, so for our first command, we're gonna have our performance command. So if you guys see at the bottom left of my screen down there, I have an FPS counter. And currently I'm getting 80 FPS. So if you guys wanna know how to get this, all you gotta do is type in perf one and it will pop up. So let's just say I don't have it already on. You see it's gone now at the bottom left of my screen. Just type in PRF one and it's right there. So if you guys want to have like more system information such as like how much RAM you're using or what your ping is, you could do perf five and it shows all of that information, but I usually just keep it on perf one so it doesn't take up that much space on my screen. So yeah, that's, that's how you do that command. If you guys want to turn it off, just do perf zero and hit enter and it's gone. That's all you got to do. All right, so for our second command, we have the kill command. All you gotta do is open your F1 console, and just hit F1, type the word kill and hit enter, and you will die. I'm currently on a build server, so it doesn't work, but let's just say you're, you're fighting, you get downed, but the enemy team is not finishing you and you wanna get back to the fight from base and help your teammates. And you wanna do this as fast as possible. All you gotta do is type in hit kill and uh, it'll, spawn you at your bag and you can get back and help your teammates so yeah that's a pretty simple command i use that a lot though all right so our next command is bind m attack duck this is a like auto farm key so all you gotta do is i currently have mine bound to x so all you have to do is change this right here to x but yeah i'll show you guys how it works so Let's just say there's a soft side wall. You want to break the wall because it's backwards to get into somebody's base, but you don't feel like left clicking. Because who wants to sit there and left click a wall for 10 minutes? Now this is a wood wall, so it's pretty easy to break, but if you're doing this to like a stone or a metal wall, it's pretty annoying to, to sit there and just keep left clicking. So all I gotta do is hit X or M or whatever key you have it bound to once you paste that into your console, and it does it for me. I'm not touching the keyboard or the mouse right now. It's doing this for me. Now what this does is, it's an also an auto crouch key. So let's just say you, you wanna crouch somewhere and you don't feel like, you know, holding down control. All you gotta do is just hit seven or something and don't have anything in your in your hands at the moment. And look, I'm hitting X and I'm not touching my keyboard at all and I'm crouching. So that's another good use for this. But I usually just use this to, you know, pick walls up. As you guys can see, it's doing it for me. I'm not doing anything right now. It's a pretty useful command. I use this a good amount. Alright guys, so our next command is buy and P forward sprint jump. So what this what this does is, you know, it it allows you to auto run or auto swim. So for example, well first of all you want to paste it into your console and hit enter. I have mine bound to P, so I'm not touching my keyboard at all right now. I'm not hitting W and I'm running. You can still move your mouse and if you guys want to stop running, just hit W and it stops running. This also works for swimming. So it's an auto swim key also. So I could do this in the ocean and I can swim on my own and I don't have to touch my keyboard at all. So yeah, I use this a good amount, especially for swimming. Let's just say I'm swimming to oil rig or something like that. I could just do this. It makes it a lot easier. Alright, so our next command is the bandage craft command. So this, what this does is allows you to craft bandages just by hitting a key. So all you gotta do is take this command that I haven't put in the description and it's bind seven craft add and then that's the like items ID or whatever. And it allows you to craft a bandage without actually going into your inventory and doing this and crafting it. So what all you gotta do is go like this, 
I currently have mine bound to M. So I'm hitting M, and if you guys see at the bottom of my screen, bottom right on my screen, it's crafting a bandage. So I'm hitting M, I'm going in here, and there's bandages crafting now. And I don't have to open my inventory or my crafting menu to craft them. Alright, so our next command is the TC crafting command. So let's just say I kill someone and they have a ton of wood on them and it takes up a lot of my inventory space. One way to not use inventory space is by crafting tool cupboards. As you can see here, my wood's going down and it's crafting into TCs and you can right click this and it will cancel that one. So all you gotta do is if you want to, you kill someone, they have a bunch of wood on them and you want to save inventory space, just type this command into chat, bind eight, craft add in the item ID, and it will craft TCs for you. So let's just say I'm hitting eight, and you guys can see at the bottom right of my screen, it says crafting a tool cupboard. And as you can see, it's crafting tool cupboards, and I didn't have to go into my inventory at all or crafting menu to craft these. So our next command is the console toggle clear combat log. So I have this bound to F1 or F2, either one works. So what this does is, is it opens your combat log every time you hit F1 or F2. So what this does, like it's, it's really useful for when you're fighting someone, let's just say you down them around a corner and you don't know what health they're at. You don't want to push them because they might kill you if you push them. You don't know if you killed them. You hit combat log or you hit F1, it automatically shows you what health they're at. So you can know what when to push them or when not to push them. I use this command a lot when I'm fighting. It's super useful. It even works for building blocks. So I'm hitting this wall, hitting this wall. And if you guys go hit F1, it shows you, it says four events in the last 10 seconds. And it shows you what health the wall's at. It's pretty useful. So our next command is step 60. So what this command does is it allows you to pretty much just jump higher. It's super useful. There's a lot of jumps in the game that are pretty hard to make, especially if you're not used to rust movement. So all you gotta do is type steps 60 into your console and hit enter. And this will allow you to you know jump higher. This is a super useful command for some jumps in the game. I always have this on, just makes it a lot easier. So our next command is client connect. So what this does is it allows you connect to a server super fast. It doesn't really make it faster, but it does make it easier. For example, if you're playing a server on wipe day and you don't want to get stuck in the queue, I definitely recommend you do this. So I'll just go ahead and disconnect from the server real quick. And then all you gotta do is go like this, go to your F1 console, Type in the client connect and the server's IP address, which can be found at battlemetrics.com. If you guys go to battlemetrics, you can search any server on Rust and it will give you the IP address. And you could just hit enter and it will start connecting us to the server. This is super useful. I use this pretty much every wipe day that I play so I can get ahead of the queue and not get stuck in the queue for hours. All right, so our last command is input.autocrouch. I use this command a lot. I don't have it on all the time though, just because you know, I don't always want to be auto crouching, but let's just say I run up to this, it'll automatically make me crouch under this, just like that. It's pretty useful, especially if you're going into like the vents at launch site, so you can just automatically crouch as soon as you run up to it. I definitely like this command for that type of stuff but i don't have it on all the time because you know let's just say i run up to something like this by accident and i don't want to crouch under it then i wouldn't have that on so i don't have it on all the time but i do turn it on when i need it 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Uh, expect a few more videos this week. I'm going to try to get a detailed guide out for every single monument because there's so many new players coming to the game right now. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and please like and subscribe.